happened. It definitely happened. It definitely happened. M mainstream science is not in disagreement on that. How excited were you about the discovery of Atlantis? Do you, do you buy into that 100%? Well, that Atlantis for me um, is one of uh, thousands of traditions uh, about a high episode of human civilization in remote antiquity uh, destroyed when that civilization angered the gods. That is a, that is a universal story. It's told uh, everywhere. Um, and the Atlantis, the Atlantis story is better understood as part of that worldwide uh, tradition rather than viewed in isolation. Um, it's very interesting. The, the Atlantis story comes to us from the Greek philosopher Plato. He is the earliest source of the Atlantis myth, if it's a myth. And uh, he sets out information about Atlantis in two of his dialogues, the Timias and the Critias. And what he says is that this information came to him through an elder figure who's called Solon, a Greek lawmaker who existed about a hundred years before the time of Plato, but was in Plato's family. And the information had been passed down to Plato. Solon had received the information from priests in Egypt. They told him about Atlantis. This is how Plato tells the story. And when Plato tells the story, he actually puts a date on the submergence of Atlantis. And that date is 9,000 years before the time of Solon. That means 9,600 BC. That means 11,500 years ago. And we're right there in that window when the Ice Age is melting down and, and hell is being unleashed on Earth. And uh, if Plato made it all up, I'm really, I really need to understand how he got the date right. <sighs> it's amazing. What a beautiful way of putting it that we are a species with amnesia. And it's really almost, I mean, when you, when you stop and think about it, how does one keep records over 12, 15,000 years with giant cataclysmic events where people are, for many generations, scratching and scrounging, just trying to stay alive like animals? Very difficult. You know? And monumental architecture may be one way of doing it. Um, you know, the notion that the pyramids and the sphinx were laid out on the ground to model an ancient sky and thus define a date using four constellations, which were Leo, Aquarius, Draco, and Orion. Using those four constellations to define a date seems like a kind of exotic idea, but uh, we have that right here in the United States in the Hoover Dam. Um, there is a star map built into the architecture of the Hoover Dam, and that star map freezes the sky above the Hoover Dam at the moment the Hoover Dam was completed. Uh, and the purpose of putting that star map there by the man who originated it was precisely this. They said, in 10,000 years' time, if our civilization is lost and our language is lost and nobody can read our documents, uh, when they come across this structure by looking at the star map, they will be able to know when it was created. God.